Now, we had a bit of fun the other night, <laughs> didn't we, ladies? We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> Go on, we went tell to, um, what we're up to. We went to the, um, the London premiere of a little film, What I'm In. <laughs> and uh, it's no, called... No, that's not um, the name of it. It's called, no, it's not called that. It's called A Bit of Tom Jones. <laughs> and, and the basic premise is that it actually is about the bit of Tom Jones. <laughs> and very, very briefly, I play a hooker and um, I, I, I play a hooker who cuts off Tom Jones's willy <laughs> during, a, during a wild night. <laughs> not and, really. Can I and, just say, if there's any Tom Jones fans, not really. No, it's not really, film. not really. <laughs> it's all based on the idea that I am. Um, I only done. have a very small part in it, and apparently he so does he. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the whole story, the whole story is about... Is, is about the I sell it to this guy and they try to sell it on to make money out of celebrity Willie <laughs> basically so rush along no it's fabulous it's, it's very it's very funny and the reason why I got this London premiere and then the girls came to support me is because they made it for a hundred thousand pounds in Wales in Tredegar in Wales and it's just taken Wales by storm and become the biggest independent grossing film in Wales so they had a little red carpet premiere and we oh, all went along yes. and had a red a, mat really it was like a red mat on, but we, we had a great time but I was <laughs> all the time I was looking to see what what's what Snow White and uh, Snow White's friend would, uh, <laughs> would, would, would think oh, of it, and they laughed you. more than anybody. I could not believe that the Welsh could get up to such tricks. I mean, I've been to Wales a lot, singing, you know, with the male voice choirs. That granny, there's an S&M granny from oh, Wales. I mean, oh. you know, with rubber and everything, and, and a diver, <laughs> and men with dummies. Uh, go. I mean, it's just, <laughs> I can't begin who's, to describe who's the it. the lady that plays the granny? She, she plays the lady next door and Gavin she and She plays Stacey. the lady next door and Gavin and Stacey, and it's... Um, it's, it's Johnny Owen and Roger Evans, and uh, oh, they're great. yeah, they're absolutely so fantastic. And it's at the View and Cinema. It's very it's worth educational. Seeing. But we <laughs> went, um, I we went out on the razzle to, to, to Groucho Club, didn't uh, we? we? Well, did. I, I did, and I was very boring and went home <laughs> at this point. Well, my husband and son Matthew were down, and these days, not only do they not stay in the same room as me, they stayed in a different hotel to me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. They both went off and sort of left me, left, left me partying and I was so thrilled because you know how we sort of, you know, get papped loose women on the town and everything. And it was actually Lisa Maxwell showing her bum. There it is! <laughs> and it said, do it. And it said, made, it said made Denise Welch look demure by comparison. Oh, that's <laughs> and all she did was kiss a young man and it was me son! <laughs> Good for you. But it was uh, quite demure. Yeah, That's nice. the first time I've ever been called. Yeah. <laughs> OK, uh, according to the news today, the position at which a man wears his trousers is directly linked... Directly? Directly? <laughs> linked to his age. Uh, now, the study found that waistbands slowly begin to creep up an inch or two as a man leaves his teenage years behind and enters the workplace. Uh, by the time a man is aged 57, it will have risen up to eight inches, Ooh. which is just seven inches below the armpits. Oh. So, can you tell the age of a man by his trousers? And what other signs have you seen that lets you know that your man's getting on a bit? Oh, well, I think you... I think you can, in certain men, tell their age um, by their trousers. And I, th and I think especially jeans, funnily oh, enough. I do think there comes an age where wearing your jeans under your armpits is never a winning look. <laughs> um, but luckily, I mean, Ray's 52 this year. He'll kill me for saying that, but he is because he thinks he's 15. Um, <laughs> so, no, he doesn't wear them up under his armpits. And he's very slim, he so... Down the front. No, never, never a crease, crease in the, the jeans. No, no never. And never, and never wear them too short, short where you can see the sock. Yeah. On the other hand... Yeah. Forest gum, yeah. isn't it, then? Yeah. On the other hand, he's, he's old enough to realise he's past wearing them actually hanging off his backside, which oh. my son Jake does. Oh, no. Um, oh. Literally, <laughs> like literally, they, the belt goes round his thighs. I've seen oh. that. It's actually <laughs> under their body. It's, it it's, it's lovely. I mean, he's got a lovely peachy bum, but it, yeah. it actually, I don't want to see it no. when he's going out, you know. It used, it used to be that you just saw that little bit of sort of showy off your underpants, nice. doesn't it? But my, my, my son's in a band, and they, they rehearse across the sort of, um, these little outbuildings across the way, and, the, and, and him and his three three uh, bandmates were walking across and I watched them out the window and they were literally like this. <laughs> 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 
because they just couldn't walk. <laughs> but it's funny because saying that when they get to 57, they've risen f um, five inches. Tim's 58 tomorrow, so no doubt the belt will be like a gag when I go in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> His Peter's getting around that age too, and he's got this little tummy now. And I have to say, I really he like has it. No, it's it's nice. I really like it. It's like a little cat. It's like a little pussy cat. And you know, we'll be watching the telly, and I'll just be stroking like it, it like that. <laughs> his little tummy, his cat. Yeah. And, and he's lovely. Isn't but you're supposed to stroke yours. No, well, <laughs> I'm pushing it. <laughs> But the thing is, does he do? Does he put the tummy over the top of the trouser belt or underneath? Uh, you see, because in the middle it doesn't over. work. In the middle, no, you get that. No, not bump. over the tummy. No, so you never think? put the trousers over the tummy. No, no the tummy under the tummy. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's that that particularly ages men. I think there's lots of other things yeah. that age oh, men more. I mean, my, I mean, Steve. Obviously, he's only 39, so you know, he, he's a you know, he's a lovely age, and he looks really nice in his in his in his jeans, and he wears his trousers. I think he's at work today under his tummy. <laughs> his lovely tummy. Um, but you know, there are other signs to me that he's getting older. Apart from the fact that his little George Clooney getting grey hair, which I actually really like. I like that. He's, he's losing everything. He puts things... So far, he's lost the keys to the post box thing. We've had to get a new one. My car keys, house keys. And then he does that thing of going, well, where have you put them? Oh, yeah. Put them. Oh, yeah. That's just what you mean. Because Peter, the thing with Peter, though, he's now he's getting into weird things that I think must be to do with his age, like cardies. He loves to have seen me in cardies. Like and he likes cardies. being in cards. And Winciette instead of silk in pyjamas. You know, he'll oh, go, I'm like, glad Tim Winci doesn't like me in Winciette. Winci otherwise, I'll never get a bloody night's peace. God, just swore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry about Denise there. <laughs> Denise, honestly. I know, I know. Enough to I'm know better. So, oh. Yes. But so I so think there. as well, I mean, yeah, I think um, ageing, <laughs> ageing, with Ray I've noticed that the older he's getting, the grumpier he's getting. I know. Like, he's no patience about anything anymore. He's only 39, what's it going to be like? You know, it's, it's one of them, like, he'll scream at the telly or it's just always something to moan about and I think... Oh God, I've married my dad. It's oh. like. You know. <laughs> but now the, the main thing with Tim is this. Now. Main thing with Tim is the, is, is the kids when they're not sort of pulling their weight. You know, it's like, I tell you what, you leave all the lights on in this house. We had a tin bath down the oh. <laughs> and I've done I've done the egg factory by five o'clock in the morning. You go, the kids go, Dad, please not the egg factory. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a break.